Hello everyone! Sis right here with more Dragon Quest VIII! As you can see, we are here in Fairbury. I'm just uh, gonna take a moment and make sure the stream has started. As you know, it likes to take its time before letting me know. Uh, and this way, I don't accidentally uh, have the volume on in double, double speed. In the meantime, yesterday I did some leveling, so now I can go back to using my actual weapon. Here my hero spear, which is pretty, pretty, pretty sweet looking. I like the hero spear. Flame tame boomerang. My dragon slayer. An urgent sword. And elevating shoes. Okay, we're over a minute now, and it still has not started yet. I hate this crap. Reset the page. There it is. Okay, I got it. Perfect. All right. So, everyone, sorry for the delay. We are going to go over here. So, yesterday, uh, we got to the. Godbird Ziri uh, there again. Um, we went and beat up Marcello at the Holy Isle of Neo. We then went to the floating black citadel there, got some cool recipes, beat up Rapthorn, beat up Ruin. We escaped, and then we had to go find seven uh, orbs. I'm going to toss all these points into courage. This uh, Sessa did not gain the level of courage. Yangus is going to gain a level in Fisticuffs, so... Hey, his system levels includes. He becomes a Continental Champ. Yangus learns Multi-Fist. Jessica... Just doesn't learn anything in webs. Angelo... Doesn't learn anything in Fisticuffs. Mori... Or Red. Red, yeah. Red's fan skills uh, improve. She becomes a fantastic fanner. Her attack power increases by 15 when she's equipped with a fan. And Mori, she, he's got 10 points to throw into boomerangs. Mori becomes, uh, boomerang skills improve. He becomes a flame tang aficionado. Aficionado. He is attack power increases by 15 when he's equipped with a boomerang. I think he actually has a flame tang boomerang as well. Alright, so I asked, when I came into town here to, to heal and use the end, I uh, saw this sparkly thing over here, and I'm like, what the hell is that? So I ran over and picked it up. It was actually the purple orb. Uh, I think it might be in my bag even. Yeah, right here. So, it was one of the orbs we need for the sages. I'm sorry I picked it up off stream, but it wasn't on purpose. something again. What do we get? Mild cheese today. I'll take some mild cheese. Just notice that the present has little slimes on it. They're fade, but they're there. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, I know exactly where these, uh, where these sages uh, are, but uh, before we do anything, we're gonna go see Princess Minnie because I am pretty certain that we have enough mini medals to get the next item. If that's true, the next item is for Jessica. Permit one to bestow upon you a. Dangerous Bazir has an expression of gratitude for the 99 mini medals you've collected on our behalf. When the total reaches 107 medals, one shall bestow upon you a Jester's outfit. A jester's outfit, huh? I want that. Okay. So the Dangerous Bazir has one defense. 
You'll understand where the danger comes from when Jessica wears it. Alright, so I'm going to transfer this to Jessica. There's one defense, so it's not worth using, but... I will show you what she looks like when she wears it, because I think it does change her outfit. Yes, it does. Alright. She's got like a black heart on her butt now. Look at that. Unfortunately, it's not worth using because, as I said, it only has like one defense, but. It'd be funny if they let you use all these outfits for uh, characters in uh, Dragon Quest Heroes. They really should. Hello, Toon Lunk! Thank you for the host, Silly. Thank you for the host, Kitsuragi. Actually, no, I need to keep Jessica in front there. Because we got something else we need to do. Uh, equip. Uh, items. Jessica, we're gonna put the hex like, skirt back on you. There we go. Alright, now, I have... The Dangerous Bazaar is used for something, though, that is worthwhile. DQ8 on 3DS has been fantastic. If you haven't played it, I do recommend that you do so. Alright, so I do not have the other item. That's not a problem. We can just go and try and make the other item. Alright, so... One of the items we do need is... A spangled dress. of protection and a gold bracer. Pretty sure that's right. This will make me a shimmering dress. There we go. Alright, now. Jessica, we'll throw the dangerous brazier in there. And the shimmering dress should get us. The Divine Vizier! One of Jessica's best outfits, if I'm not wrong? I wonder if I had the stuff to upgrade uh, Sacred Armor now. That's a review of protection and a recovery ring. Okay, I don't have the recovery ring. Alright, no worries. I'm uh, fairly close to the end of the main story, though. I think. Brazier. Actually, you know what would be better, I think? Shit. More character. There you go. This is what she looks like with the Divine Brazier on. Not quite as dangerous, but you get the idea. Alright. Let's go back to accessories, just so you can use any Okay, so we can move on to the game now. I, uh, like I said earlier, I picked up the purple orb. It was at the uh, house at the beginning of the game that it was burned. So we're going to go back to the Tower of Alexandra.
I know, it's been a long time since we've been here. Man, I can't believe I'm already this far into the game. But I, do, I guess I do play for a few hours every day. It's been a long time since we've had to go orb hunting, though. What, we had to last do this in four? Three? I mean... Godbird likes her seven orbs, I think. If you recall, this is, uh... Where Dual Magus, uh... Was and where we first uh, met Jessica. I believe something still wants to fight me here. Probably a mini demon. Once Jessica hit, they were all dead anyway, so that's why I didn't put much effort into that. Well, that and I was a lot stronger than the monsters in this area. So this one, I'm gonna go to the store. I'm trying to dodge around that slime, but I guess I entered a tip box. this one. Oh, there we have it. Okay. We want to go up here. We can go all the way around if we want, or you can click this and turn it around. I'm not entirely really sure which one's faster. I doubt the way I did it was quicker, but... For some reason, these mini demons like to attack me, even though I'm like set level 70 in there, or 60. And they're like level 5. Reminds me of my little brother playing World of Warcraft. He'd be like level 10 in uh, Silver Pine Forest or something, and he'd see a max level uh, alliance player, and he'd just dart after and start attacking them. Obviously die in one hit, but... He didn't care, he just, he just wanted to fight. There you go. We did it! Oh yes, and here, this is what the sparkle looked like last night. And look at that, there's one right there. An orb glows at Sasai's feet. Sasai takes the blue orb and puts it in the bag. So how have you been to Long? What have you been up to? You said you beat uh, Watch Dogs, right? What have you moved on to since? Oh, that's a new monster. Come here. Come away. Alright. Next place we should go. Myella Abbey. A 
long time since I came here, too. We're having a feast. This is where Dulmagus showed up and uh, killed uh, Abbot Francisco. And right here on the ground. So if you haven't gathered, it looks like the orbs are being found at the location where the uh, sages were killed in this uh, in this uh, era. Trying to remember where they all are, though. Uh, I don't think there's a sage in Escanta. No. I know where David was killed. I know where Marta was killed. I know where the high priest was killed. Should be seven. Soon the high priest died in his residence. Oh, and Golden, yes. I forgot about Golding, he was the other one. Alright, let's take the elevator up! Who would have thought they'd have this kind of technology here? But yeah, so this house is very oddly built. It's like it's caving in on itself. Never did it get to search this place either. I saw him. I saw Captain Machello going into the Lord High Priest's room late at night. And then not long afterwards, I heard His Holiness scream! No, it's nothing. It can't be. That kind of thing is just unthinkable. The objective here is to see the mini medals, though. Very well, you don't appear to be suspicious. If you come to pay your respects to the old Lord High Priest, please make your way upstairs. I have, but I've also come to search this place, because I haven't done that yet. Uh, Sage's robe, okay, cool. Oh, that red sky is so frightening! Somebody help me! Help you with what? Apparently, His Holiness lost his footing on the cliff outside and fell. He went for a walk every day and fed bread to the little birds. But whoever thought that would be the end of him. Okay. Hey, Minnie Mel. Steel of Life. 
The official line is that the Lord High Priest slipped and fell while he was walking. Walking, but I saw it. I saw his wound. I saw that thing through his chest. There's something sticking right through him. He must have been so much pain. He must have been in so much pain. Captain Marcello, or rather, the new Lord High Priest will be returning soon. We come to pay your respects. To go on to the door, His Holiness is lying in state through the here. We're going to make Captain Marcello proud by doing an exemplary job of guarding the Lord High Priest's coffin until he returns. Orb glows at Sassari's feet. Sassari takes the silver orb and puts it in his bag. I think the sky turning red is some kind of sign from our Lord, sorely missed Lord High Priest. I'm convinced of it, in fact. Alright. I feel this is the safest place to be. I can feel the divine protection of His Holiness here. Oh, Your Holiness. Yes. The couch in here. Oh. Mini metal. All right, that's two. That puts us up to 101. We need six more, and we can get a, a jester outfit. still counts as daytime, so we have a little bit of time to get inside that house before they yell at me and tell me I can't go in. Oh, will probably turn nighttime before I get to the gate. Yeah, there it goes, you fucking asshole game. I can't get into Golding's Mansion. Oh, that man just turned into a lady. Anyway, um... Cool transesting, but uh, I didn't know it was a, that quickly of a process. Anyway, you can't get into the mansion during the, the night, so you have to go during the day. So, oh, here we go. It is now daytime. Okay. You recall, Golding was apparently one of the Seven Sages' descendants. So that means... There should be another orb here. I came here, they uh, were on the opposite ends of the room and I couldn't get a picture of them together. Definitely in his room. 
Nor glows at Sasuke's feet. Sasuke takes the yellow orb and puts it in the bag. I guess that's kind of like the gold orb. Okay. Let's head off to Arcadia. And then lastly to Marta's Cottage. And here is I was right. Sasuke takes a green orb and puts it in the bag. So they all seem to be right where the uh, right where the sages died in this era. And I think the last one should be Marta's College. Alright, so it's probably in the cave. I got just between the snow foot falls and there it is. So that's why takes the red orb and puts it in the bag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we got seven of them. To impeach you and save our game. Okay, let's go see the godbird. I already said I'm recording once again, I said I'm gonna beat you though. 